The world is home to a diverse range of animal species, varying in population size from the millions to just a handful. It's fascinating to learn about these unique creatures, including endangered horses and unwanted dogs. In this video, I will introduce you to some of the rarest animals you may have never seen before. Join me on this exciting journey. Burmese Chicken Chickens are an essential part of agriculture, and there are various types of chickens available in grocery stores. However, it is unlikely that you will ever find a frozen Burmese chicken in a local supermarket. The Burmese chicken is among the rarest breeds of chicken on the planet. For a long time, it was believed to be extinct, but recent findings have disproved this theory. In the 1920s, a small flock of Burmese chickens was discovered. Even today, Burmese chickens exist, but their population is critically small. The most notable feature of the Burmese chicken is their extremely short legs. Despite their small size, they weigh around 500 to 600 grams, and because of their puffy plumage, they appear larger than they are. Interestingly, Burmese chickens are not only unique because of their scarcity, but they are also one of the few birds studied by the famous evolutionist Charles Darwin. In his book, The Variation of Animals and Plants Under Domestication, Darwin described these feathered creatures from Burma. Whitebird Shorthorn Everyone knows that horses are often used in agriculture. Although I don't think the Galicena would be suitable for this task, such rare and unique creatures are worth preserving. Also, the white bread shorthorn is not very suitable for farming, but it's nevertheless sometimes used by farmers. The British white bread shorthorn looks like an ordinary cow, but it's a real unique animal. You won't find meat from these animals in grocery stores because they're extremely rare. Scientists believe that the number of white bread shorthorn cattle is even smaller than the number of pandas. Scientists suggest that these white beauties are at risk and that they'll soon face complete extinction. Let's hope it doesn't happen, but who knows, nature's pretty brutal. Galiceno The Galiceno is a beautiful horse breed originally from Mexico, bred in the early 16th century. Hernan Cortez, the famous conquistador, brought the breed to Latin America in 1519. Despite being geographically close, the Galiceno remained unknown in the United States until 1958. However, once discovered, an association for breeding them was established, and they became quite popular in America. These horses are unique, not only in their diminutive size, standing at only 130 centimeters tall and weighing about 300 kilograms, but also in their particular fast and smooth stride, which makes them very comfortable for riders. They inherited their smooth pace from their ancestors, the Spanish horses. Although excellent, unfortunately, there are very few of these horses left, with only about a hundred remaining in the world. This makes the Galicino the rarest horse breed on the planet. Danish protest pig. Darwin did not write about these piggies, but they too deserve attention. They're the next farm animals in this video that are incredibly rare. The Danish protest pig is such a rare breed that it's on the verge of extinction, but the breed itself is quite young. It's been bred for about 100 years, and it wasn't until 1954 that the Danish protest pig was officially recognized as a breed. The color of these pigs is very striking. Once you've seen it, you'll never confuse it with anything else. They're red with a broad white cross section. Have you seen any other pigs like it? By the way, it's because of this appearance that the breed got its name. Researchers thought that the coloration of these pigs resembled the Danish flag. Dragon Lay Dragon Lai is not a rare species of reptile, as one might assume. In reality, it's a particular breed of domestic cat that originated in China. The breed is also known as the Chinese Lai Hua. These cats have descended from the Chinese mountain cat, which has adapted to coexist with humans over time. The breed has been around for centuries, with the first mentions of them dating back to the first millennium BC. Although Dragon Li cats are popular in China, they are considered rare. In fact, they are particularly scarce outside of their native land. As of 2017, there were only four purebred Dragon Li cats in the United States, 
which is surprising considering the country's population is about 330 million. It's believed that it's nearly impossible to buy a pure dragon Li cat outside of China, and even within China, despite their popularity, these cats are not very common. Honor Hound What about dogs? There are many breeds among man's best friend, but the Honor Hound is certainly not one of them. They were bred in Britain in the 19th century, they were bred for hunting. So, otter hounds have a strong body and long muscular legs, which allows them to withstand a lot of physical activity. Originally, they were extremely useful. These dogs hunted otters that interfered with fishermen by eating their catch. The breed was doing very well until 1978 when England passed the law banning otter hunting. The otter hound switched to hunting mink of nutria, but this was no longer the case due to the loss of the main specialization. The breed became almost useless, and its population began to decline rapidly. Now there are only about a thousand individuals left in the world, so the breed is considered endangered. Red Wolf The situation is even more dire when it comes to the distant relatives of the honor hound. The Red Wolf is an exceptional and exceedingly rare animal, considered by scientists to be the rarest member of the canine family. At one point in time, these wolves were found throughout the eastern United States, spanning from Pennsylvania to Texas. However, due to extermination and habitat destruction, the red wolf population faced near extinction. Their range was reduced to the far southwest of Louisiana and southeast Texas, and by the late 1970s, red wolves had completely vanished from the wild, with only a few individuals surviving in zoos and kennels. The red wolf is now classified as a critically endangered species by the Red Data Book. Efforts to reintroduce red wolves to their natural habitat in the Great Smoky Mountains of North Carolina and Tennessee have been ongoing since 1988, but progress has been slow. There are now only a few hundred individuals left in the world. Sumatran Striped Rabbit I've previously mentioned some rare animals that researchers have been able to fully study despite their rarity. However, there is one animal that is even rarer, the Sumatran striped rabbit, which lives on the Indonesian island of Sumatra at high altitudes above sea level, has only been interacted with by scientists for the first time in 2021. A male rabbit was accidentally rescued by Indonesian animal advocates after it was discovered on Facebook, where it was about to be sold. An anonymous user saw the post and alerted National Park authorities, who tracked down the owner and took the animal away from him. It had been accidentally caught by a local farmer who found it near a river on the edge of the National Park. After the rescue, the rabbit was safely released back into the forest where camera traps have been set up to monitor its movements. Until then, the species had only been studied from museum specimens, and in the past 22 years, it had only been seen in the wild three times. The Sumatran striped rabbit is poorly studied, but researchers hope that the camera traps will help them learn more about its lifestyle. There is, however, data available on another animal that I will mention next, Vaquita. This is the Vaquita. Seeing it for the first time, you wouldn't realize that this is the animal that's considered the rarest in the world. The latest scientific estimate is that there are less than 10 vaquitas left in the world, although the reality may be even sadder. It's possible that there are only three or, for example, five individuals left. Until 1958, no one knew of the existence of the vaquita. The species was described that very year. Shortly thereafter, the vaquita population began to decline. The vaquitas were rapidly dying out and illegal fishing in the Gulf of California was to blame. Authorities tried to remedy the situation and even banned the use of gill nets a few years ago, but it didn't do much. It was too late to take action. The point of no return has already been passed. So the vaquita is inevitably on its way to becoming the next extinct species, that's all. Guys, which animal from this video impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.